Good morning, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Before we begin, we have a few prayer requests. Ricky Lee's mother, Ruth, fell asleep in the Lord Monday evening, and we pray for her and her family. Also, we want to keep Karen Krilanovich and Michael Hatton and their families in our prayers for their health problems. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you keep and comfort the soul of our sister Ruth, who has fallen asleep. We ask that you provide comfort and strength to her family at this time. We also ask that you provide your blessings on Karen and Michael in their time of need. For through you comes all strength and all hope. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Today, will be a little different than usual. Each day we read our Lord's message to us from the Gospels, and that's a great and wonderful thing. But there's so much more to be learned from this wonderful gift from God that we call the Bible. In its essence, it is a love story, the story of God's love for you and for me, and our love affair with him and with our neighbor. But we should ask ourselves, do we really know what love is? St. Paul, in his first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 4 through 8, gives us a description of what true love is, and it is more than the love that a husband and wife share, but the love we must all share with one another, not only to those we know, but the stranger who we don't know. Let's hear St. Paul's message to us now. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. The Word of God. Well, have a good day and be joyful in love of God and neighbor. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto God.